first day of competition, qualified. How do you feel? Um, you know, it was good to get the first run out of the way. It was solid, but not as fast as it could have been. Uh, just two runs in one day is pretty crazy for qualifications compared to the World Cup schedules. And how's your preparation coming into this event? Uh, pretty good, actually. We've been staying right next to the course, so getting some really good training in and plenty of recovery as well. What's so special about this course? Uh, I love Prague because everyone's so friendly, the course is fun, you know, this beautiful city is really close by. It's just a really nice place to be. And what's special about the C1 Women's event? What's everything special about the C1 Women's event? We've got some really talented young girls coming through and uh, some people that have been doing it for quite a few years now and are showing what they're made of and I'm really excited to see the final. And what's your expectations coming into this event? My expectations... I want to get to the end of my runs and be really satisfied and I hope that if I'm satisfied with my run then it'll be a medal position in C1 but I'll take it step by step and focus on the process. There seems to be close competition between the Australians and the Brits. Uh, do you feel pressure as you're going down the run? I try to just think about my paddling as I'm going down the run. There's a little bit of pressure outside the race but I guess how I deal with that will determine how well I paddle. Do you have any superstitions? No. <laughs> superstitions are against the rules. <laughs> but what goes through your mind before you start? Well, usually I spend the time running through the course in my mind and until a few seconds before the run and then I'll just try and relax, breathe deeply and get in the zone. In Bratislava, things in the final run didn't seem to go quite to plan. What can you do here to avoid that? Uh, stick to my race plan. In Brat, I kind of tried an unplanned punt and it really didn't pay off. So I know that if I do what I plan, I'm capable of pulling out a good run. To win here, though, it seems that the competition is incredibly tight. It seems like you're going to have to pull out some risks in the final run. Yeah, not as risky as the K1 men, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, I'll try and make sure everything's tight and smooth and keep the boat running, and I think that'll be enough. Thanks so much for your time.